Now, earlier this morning, uh, President Trump decided that he wanted to take credit for 2017 being the safest year for commercial air travel. Now, that's interesting. Uh, according to Axios, President Trump tied new reports from Dutch consulting firm 270 and the Aviation Safety Network that called 2017 the safest year in commercial aviation. Uh, history to his strict, or his quote, strict action in the industry during his first year in office. So I'm going to get to what that means afterwards, right? But here's what he said on Twitter. Since taking office, I've been very strict on commercial aviation. Good news. It was just reported that there was zero deaths in 2017. The best and safest year on record. At the 2017, it's been the best. It's been the safest, best year. Tremendous year in air safety. No crashes. Tremendous. And look, that's great and all. I actually celebrate that fact that it's been far safer. Wonderful. And, and look, like I said, this has to do with commercial airlines, not anything else. There's actually been some deaths uh, when it comes to cargo airplanes and, and, and individual um, airplanes. I actually can't think of the word that they call those. Um, charter flights, maybe. But as far as commercial airlines, like the big airlines, American... Delta, et cetera, et cetera. No crashes. Pretty good, right? But what does President Trump have to do with that? What, what kind of strict action? Well, first, before I get into that, more details, right? It turns out that there has not been a fatal commercial crash since 2009. So, wow, it looks like we've had a quite a string of good years. Eight good years in a row, actually. Well, fantastic. How's that, how come this is the first time I've heard of it? Well, maybe it has to do with messaging. Uh, President. I mean, look, you didn't hear President Obama go out on Twitter and be like, tremendous year, no crashes in 2016. So with that in mind, does that mean that, the, that President Obama gets credit for seven years of tremendous air safety? Maybe. Or maybe the White House doesn't have anything to do with air safety. So what about Trump's strict action on aviation that he's claiming, right? I mean, that's his claim to fame. I did strict action, and that's why 2017 continues the record of being safe, since uh, of having the safest year since 2009. Uh, well, a little bit of information on that. Last year, Trump actually wanted to privatize air traffic control nationwide. He actually helped push a Republican bill uh, through Congress to privatize air traffic control. Now, wait a minute here. Now, if the government's doing such a great job, Again, since 2009, keeping uh, the airways incredibly safe, right? No fatal crashes in 2009 worldwide, right? Well, then why did uh, he call it privatize it? Well, that's interesting. Um, that's, a, that's a very, very good question. I would like to see him answer that. Um, and look, again, he's claiming without proof that something he did, which actually didn't even go through, because that action got stalled in Congress. Well, he's claiming that uh, somehow his action, which would have been a government action, which would have been a government regulation, actually contr contributed to this. So there's a lot of different angles that I love about this story. For one, the audacious braggadocio, right? Ad look at me. What I did, I made, uh, I made airlines safer. MAGA. But he didn't do anything. His actions, his only action on air travel didn't even go through. So he did literally nothing and he's taking credit for it. Amazing. Now, the, the other thing, of course, is saying, well, if he does something through government action, which would mean government regulation, that would make it more safe. Again, that's incredibly ironic because... Again, he's a Republican and he hates regulation. But see, this is like the perfect illustration of Trump in action. Taking credit for something he didn't actually do, bragging about it, and then ignoring the actual facts. <laughs> Old facts and logic have gone out the window. It no longer exists in the White House. And you can make an argument that it hasn't existed in the Republican Party for a long time. And maybe that's how somebody that would explain how somebody like President, uh, like Donald Trump even made it into the party and became president. I don't know. On the one hand, I'm like, dude, get your ass off Twitter. You're an idiot. You're making an ass out of yourself and the United States. And on the other hand, it is actually sort of interesting to watch the mental decline of somebody 
happen 280 characters at a time. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.